<laughs> Even if you wanted her to go, that's still overkill. Why? Why? Why would you overkill my sister? 34-year-old Mary Beeman, fondly called Pig, was a vibrant, exuberant soul, the cherished favorite in everyone's life, be it as a friend, cousin, or sister. On the chilling night of December 7th, she ventured to Lindsay Jaster's residence for a date. Tragically, Beeman's evening took a nightmarish turn, and she departed in a body bag, her fate sealed by a joke that pushed Lindsay over the edge. Welcome to American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification button. Mary Beeman, originally from Indiana, had relocated to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, by 2022. She worked as a hairstylist, often sharing her work on social media to attract clients. Beyond her profession, Mary was devoted to her family and enjoyed spending time with friends, where her vibrant energy made her the life of any gathering. On December 7, Mary planned a dinner date at Lindsay Jaster's home, a person she had known for some time. During their get-together, a playful exchange of jokes took a dark turn. Lindsay, upset by one of Mary's jokes, asked her to leave, but she refused. Tragically, the disagreement escalated, and Lindsay shot her three times with a gun. Mary succumbed to her injuries, leading to Lindsay's immediate arrest. After dinner, a joke escalated to violence. 41-year-old Lindsay Jaster shot Beeman three times, killing her, then I'm called 911. Come on out. Keep your hands up. Come on out. Police arrested him minutes later. Jaster told detectives he wanted Beeman to leave. Even if you wanted her to go, that's still overkill. Why? Why? Why would you overkill my sister? They're now hoping for justice, knowing nothing will bring Mary back. People say, oh, it's your time to go. No, he chose her time to go. And it's not fair. And Jaster is charged with first-degree intentional homicide and is due back in court on Friday. Lindsay Jaster faces first-degree intentional homicide charges, potentially resulting in a life sentence if convicted. Despite the confidence of Mary's friends and family in seeing justice served, her loss remains an irreparable void. She was laid to rest on December 30th, with loved ones gathering for a balloon release in her memory. Mary, who acted as a mother figure to her family, never had children of her own but was always there with sound advice, even when it was difficult to hear. Her family struggled to cope with the tragic loss of the 34-year-old. Mary's sister, Shenarvia Smith, recalls her as a source of positivity and support, always improving any situation. She was known for her love of the outdoors and her contagious happiness. On what would have been her 35th birthday, a friend released 35 balloons in celebration of her life and enduring friendship. This tragic and brutal act of violence was undeniably excessive. Please keep Mary Beeman's family and friends in your thoughts and prayers as they navigate this devastating loss. Rest in peace, Mary Beeman.